Hello everyone. I found some new information that when I called the Watchtower a while back ago, we was talking about the new Jerusalem that's coming down from heaven to be here on earth. The Watchtower headquarters, when I call them, say this building or city does not exist and it's not a little city. So let's go to what the Bible says and some information I found what they used to teach. So let's look at Revelation 3.12 He who overcome, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go out no more. I will write upon him the name of my God. Now here's the part. And the name of the city of my God and the new Jerusalem which comes down out of heaven from my God and I will write upon him my new name okay let's go back up here for a second the name of the city of my God in the new Jerusalem, which comes down from out of heaven. Okay, that tells you right there that the city of New Jerusalem is real, even in Christ's own words. And what did John say in Revelation 21 to and then John saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from out of heaven, from God, prepared as a bride adornment for her husband. People, there's, there's two places just mentioned about the New Jerusalem. In the book that I was looking at, which I was using for my last video about the spiritual Jews or the lily Jews. Okay, this here is from this book that I'm going to show you at the end. There's John upon a high mountain watching and seeing the the this big city is coming down out of heaven to earth. I'm going to play an audio and we go from there. And shoot me, that great, the holy city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. The city came down from heaven to earth. If we went up to heaven, it would not be found there. If Reverend 21 is to be literally interpreted, then the whole surface of Palestine is far from sufficient to hold a city of this size. Besides, its height, length, and breadth were to be equal. Reverend 21, 2. Nevertheless, these gates also represent the ancient worthies, who during the millennial age will be the earthly representatives of the church, and, perhaps, exactly 144,000 in number. Additionally, the ancient worthies are called gates in Isa 26, 2. The gates or entrances of the city, which are twelve in number, are inscribed with the names of the twelve tribes of Israel. This is in harmony with what we have learned of the earthly phase of the kingdom of God, that the ancient worthies from the various tribes of Israel, selected during the Jewish age, will be the visible representatives of the heavenly kingdom in the earth, through whose instrumentality the nations may enter into the blessings. Proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb, the scriptures nowhere speak of the river of the water of life now. There is none and can be none until the heavenly city descends, for the river must flow from the midst of it, from the throne. Describing the condition of the Lord's saints at the present time very differently, the Lord declares that those who are his have in them a well of water springing up into life eternal. 
Okay. What did we find out from here? From this book? That there's no way no one human could go to heaven to drink the water of life or eat the trees of life which is in the city of New Jerusalem. So that means if you read the scriptures right, Jehovah Witnesses or Watchtower, if you, Revelation 21 is to be literally interpreted, then the whole surface of Pakistan is far from, from sufficient to hold a city of that size. So that means Jerusalem is descending out of heaven from God. So people, from this information, I just show you the only way you can eat from the trees of life or drink from the water of life. They are in the city of New Jerusalem. So for Watchtower and Jehovah's Witnesses to live forever, they couldn't because Unless you can get to the city to get inside where, where it talks in the Bible about the trees of life and the river of life, no Jehovah's Witness could have eternal life. So this is the book that I got my information from. This was written after Charles T. Russell died. And helping hand for Bible students. And you notice there's a sun disc, which got to do with the sun god, all, all over his books like this. Here he is, right here, series seven. The Finished Mystery. How many edition books they have? International Bible Students Association of Brooklyn. You got your London and your different branch offices. And this book was written in 1918. So what did we learn today? We learned when you rely on Watchtower teaching to find out the real truth about Jerusalem or anything, you will get nothing but lies. Now I just read two scriptures and even from their own Tommy, when they they put this information out, it is to be a literary interpret interpreted. Then this whole surface of Palestine is far sufficient to hold a great city on this size. That means Jehovah's Witnesses. We have been lied to so many times. There's a picture of trees of life, river of life. In the future, from God, he's going to bring down a big city. This is going to be called the New Jerusalem. And this is what the Bible teaches. 
The Watchtower teach one thing is a lie. People, you need to wake up, do your research, because the Watchtower is taking scriptures from the Bible and twisting them around to saying the New Jerusalem is not what it is. Because they can't imagine a big city that size. They can't believe that God could build a big city in heaven and bring it down to earth. So the Watchtower is calling God a liar, calling the Bible a liar. If God can create the galaxy, he can create the earth. Couldn't he also build a big city in heaven and bring it down here on earth? Does he have that power to do that? Yes, he does. So please, people, wake up. You're not in the truth anymore. Watchtower is not the truth. JW Org is nothing but a disease and dead information, dead doctrine. It's nothing but lies. You need to wake up. Please, people, stay out of Jehovah's Witnesses. If you want the truth, use the Bible. You want the mediator, go to Christ. Not those seven jerks that are claiming to be spiritual Jews. And from my last video, proven from Pastor Russell's teaching, those men are not spiritual Jews. Watch the video. Thank you and have a nice day.